as he comes to speak the word of God in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. We may take Amen. our seats. Amen. The temptation to continue with that uh, uh, session that has ended was quite high, but I didn't want to offend uh, Pastor Joshua. <laughs> Amen and amen. Praise God. So I had to, I had to cut it short anyway. And uh, I thank God that we, we had a time to have a cup of tea. And we are back in the house of God. Amen and amen. Somebody say restoration. restoration. I mean, this thing is so much in me, brethren. I hardly slept. And in my many prayers, in my many prayers, I was not only praying, restore them, O oh God. No. I got to a point and I said, God, even me. Because you see, in this thing, you can easily become a pipe that uh, brings water from Kilimanjaro to Machakos or somewhere like that. I mean, the, the, the water is not salty, but it has never tested it. You can easily bring a blessing to people. And you yourself. So I, I got to a point and I was, even me, God, every place, every area in me, where I need or where I feel I need to be restored, bring that restoration. I need it, oh God, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Can somebody say, even me, I need to be restored? Praise the living God. We need to be restored, brethren, to our own way. We need to go back to the foundations and the kind of persons we were when we believed. Amen. There is a place we were. Praise the living God. Let's not hide. Hey, professor, there is a place where we used to be and we know it. It's only that many times we want to cover up. We want, but there are people who know us. I don't want to meet anybody who will ask me, Pastor Titus, where is the Titus who you pray? I don't want to be surprised by my wife. She gets to a point and she wonders, the, the, where is the, the engine? Where is the man who would be, you know, who would pray in the middle of the night? Where? I don't want her to get there. I don't want my wife to get to a place where she is. At what point did I lose that man? Oh, yes. He was my best man. Praise God. Dr. Mwamba, together with his wife, Dorcas. And you know what? He can testify. He is a witness. The night before my wedding, I still went for prayer. Because I believe I cannot, unless somebody has a, a serious demon, you cannot sleep in your own wedding. No matter how tired you are. Are you understanding what I'm saying? I want her to still see that man. Where did you lose yourself? At what point? We knew you. The way we knew you is not the way we know you. It's only that people don't have courage to face you. But me, I have a courage. Maana ile soko inauzo uwoga nilienda nikakuta imefungwa. Me, I can look at your face and tell you, you are not like this. This is not the way you are. Oh, yes. And thank God, majority of you I know. Because, and I'm older than some of you. <laughs> Here. Because when we were beginning, I was there. Service number one. I was there. So my DNA. You understand what I'm saying? We need men and brethren. A time has come for us to ask what happened 
to us. What happened to me? Amen. And you may think I'm preaching now to say that I'm preaching at a conference. Then we get to where Revelation says, where God tells one of the churches, remember where you backslid. Kumbuka, uliangukia wapi. Wacha kutushindisha hapa tufanyisha kazi. Ya kukukumisha mahali uliangukia. Na weu napajua. Unatupea kazi nyingi. Ya kuwakuanzisha o, kukuonyesha o. Weu ulikuwa muombaji, ume, ume, umeacha. Weu ulikuwa mutoaji, umeacha. Weu ulikuwa mutu wakupenda mambo ya mungu, umezimia. Weu mwenyewe, kule uliangukia unajua. Biblia inasema rudi. Go back. Hey. We never knew you as a woman who is offended of little things. Today you are full of offense. Yes. Hata sasa hii uko hapa na uko offended. Umeoffendiwa na nini? Umeenda hapa ukawekewa chai, ukaona iko majani nyingi. Ile kitu huko elewa, hapa sio kwako. Hapa ni kwa Mungu. Honey, you are being offended by funny funny things. Funny funny things. Very strange things. But long time you used to know the Bible says, know this offense must come. But you lost that scripture. You no longer remember it. Today you are being offended by anything, everything. Kila kitu ni nini? Nanyamaza na unakaa huko juma. What is it? Wamenikwasa. Ni kanisa iko na vikwaso vingi. Mm. Ukuona hiyo distance kutoka kwa, kwa... Ukuona hiyo distance kutoka kwa speaker mpaka kwa flower nini na ile hazitoshani. <laughs> the things offending you. The things the things offending you my sister. They are so insin Significant, they are useless, but you are full of offense. Una offense wana kila kitu, kila kitu. That's not the way we used to know you. That's not the kind of a person you are. But slowly, slowly, you are drifting away, drifting away. Sasa umeingiwa na makasiriko. Where is amen? amen? Restoration hile ni mekuja kukuambia hapa. Sia pesa. Pesa uko nazo. Kwanza kaa na hizo. Tutaona kama tutangongezea zingine jioni. <laughs> amen. Tunalawana. Tuingia hile vitu sasa hile ufalo. Because the Bible says seek ye first. Seek ye first. The kingdom. I'm still, that thing is still in me. When we, when our minds, Elder Joyce, when our minds were in the kingdom, we lacked nothing, nothing, nothing. When we got these children and these babies, majority of us, we had nothing. But those children, they had, they went to school, they dressed with miracles. We were men of, and women of miracles. No, no longer do we believe God for anything. You think it's our life, it's our right now to sleep and wake up. So what? Yes. Hmm? When we just, it's only that we cannot pray God to get us back there. Because that will not be right prayer. When we used to use these things, we, we call them matatus. Between here and town, 
umehubiria watu wawili some of us tulikuwa tunasimama kwa bus and you can't waste one hour you feel something is in you is stirring you up i need to preach in this matatu and you stand and you say hallelujah and you preach early morning where did it go today get in the same matatu with your smartphone At those moments you wouldn't understand how are people not gone born again how can a sinner live around me and i'm not telling them about christ today you don't care even before you sit umeshatoa smartphone what are you doing you are just liking and the kind of things you are liking they are unlikable some of them just going through Do you tell me we don't need to go back? You tell me we don't restoration? We need restoration and we need it seriously. We need it. Those moments men of God who say this is what we are doing and we will be there encouraging. By the way let me tell you One of the best way in the scriptures of encouraging men of God is by supporting the work more so materially. We also need to go back in that area. Hey, that's how restoration works. I read a very good scripture and I must read it here. Ezra chapter 1 verse 6. Ezra chapter 1 verse 6 and I want you to read from your Bible so that You know there is a place I was preaching and I gave scripture here scripture there scripture there and some people got went home got saying hiyo hiyo bible hiyo kijana alikuwa anasema anasoma ni ile ya devil worship hizo ma scriptures alikuwa anasoma hizo asiko kwa bible in bible nyingine now as i chapter 1 verse 6 can somebody let me read and all these who were around them encouraged them with articles of silver and gold with goods and livestock and with precious things beside all that was willingly offered one way of encouraging men of god is by giving you see there is no amen, amen. but i came with enough amens for myself how did they encourage them in ezra can you read it again and all those who were around them encouraged them with articles tell your neighbor your articles are needed and not cheap articles articles of silver and gold and don't tell me that oh man of god and with precious things oh man of god but i gave i gave there the bible says besides tell your neighbor besides, besides. tell your neighbor beside the tithe things and the, the offerings you need to encourage <laughs> you bring you need to bring an encouragement can you say hallelujah some will say beside 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 what you have done do more that must be niv what does he say niv in addition tell your neighbor add something after this service <laughs> praise god Amen. glory to god Amen. yes some people don't you will only do you not read in the morning pastor joshua that we need we will need somebody to say restore for you to get out of your prison house for you to get out of your house for you to get out of those and snare you need a man to say to what restore do, can i teach you a secret can, can i teach you something in this house come on can i teach you something you may have never known this but this is true 
and I know I'm online but I'm not talking about our deputy uh, uh, bishop here I'm just is this a general general wisdom and general talk you understand any time any day anywhere you will meet a man of God a sure and authentic grace and anointing and you say anything that you want to say and he is on his way out he's on his way what he is like brother God bless you the Lord bless you try this get in your pocket and give the same man something I'm telling you the truth I've been around for some time the man will say let's pray <laughs> whoever that man is it doesn't matter his title are you understanding what I'm saying because there are those declarations and decrees there are some restorations that don't just come they need to be activated there are blessings in the life of men but they need an activation they need an elder to say go and get that which my soul loves I have the blessing but unless you have enticed and you have aroused my soul are you understanding what I'm saying there are those things it is true God has continually told Abraham that your seed, your blessed, your children will be as many as the, this, this, the sand on the seashore and the stars on the sky. And, uh, but let me tell you something. Restoration of all those visions and all those declarations. The conclusion of the matter is when God hates. Mungu alipita siku moja. Akakuta kama mzee kamekaa pale wa gate. Kanakaa tu under mamaru tree. Kaka mbembeleza akamwambia ah na wewe nyinyi wazinaume watatu. Si muingie hapa angalau muoshe miguu na mkule ka kitu. Bwana Yesu asante. Shukuru Mungu Ibrahimu alikuwa ameoa mtu wa Mungu, hakuwa ameoa manga shetani ya mtu. Some sisters try that. Brother. Some. Some people try that with your wife. Ni utajua ulewa nini? Jamaa ameokota watu wanapita. Watu wanapita. Ameokota. Hawana majina hawajui. Ameokota. Analetea wife. Anaambia wife. Hey wife. Kimbia utengeneze nini? Hey. Wanaweza wasi sana. Waja kutupitia kutupatia ile vitu Mungu akurangi. nini na kanini na kangombe kangombe kachinjwe haraka haraka saa hiyo Mungu ako quiet quiet ako quiet hai wamesosi nyama bwana akacha hapo hivi Mungu akaambia hawa malaika wawili hebu nenendeni enda aimbe ingwe sauka Mwilo lato haya bahati hizi ziombe. Ile video tumekula hapa. Hatuwezi enda zote. Hatuwezi enda zote. Nyi endeni. Endeni kwanza. Simu unajua mission ilikuwa Sodomu na Gomora? Eh, nyi endeni. Anza. Wewe, eh. Next year a time like this. A time like this. Oh, you are years will be restored Amen. oh you are waiting this is a moment you have been waiting for are you understanding what I'm saying a man in his old age he can see no nothing he tells a son by the name of Isu go and look for something 
Go out hunting. Bring something. I eat. I eat first. I do what? I eat first. And I want you to understand, we are not teaching this because to konanja. Tunafunza kwa sababu ni neno la mungu. Sababu kuna watu wanaanga, Kongo City South zinaandanga kwa za asasa, wameanza mulengo gani? Wameendelea wapi? No, 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 no. It is still the authentic word of God. Praise the living God. Because the culture of giving needs to be brought again back into the house of God. Beside, in addition, in what? In addition. And let me make this statement. Whatever you need in this life, listen to this. Whatever you need in this life, give it out. Do you need shoes? Give out shoes what is it that you need now come on what is it that you need now what is it that you feel you need do you need a house let me educate you do you need a house locate somebody who has grace locate a brother who has an authority in that area he may not necessarily be a pastor who is building or who has built Oh, he's almost finishing. Go there. Buy 50 bags of cement. 20 bags of cement. And as you go home, go saying in the name of Jesus, I have a house now. The grace to build, the grace to own. Stop criticizing. Ukiana kwa nyumba mtu unafungua fungua macho, unaangalia tiles, unaangalia kiramani. Kiramani. Yeah, ukuta, wangalia, ni wallpaper, ama ni, ama ni and you see there are people who come to you oh, have you ever seen those funny creatures eh? Eh? Mutu anangia, kwa, kwa room, anaka for 30 minutes not because they have a problem they are looking everything around mbaka, mbaka wa mesao, kurikuwa, chakura, kura. they are looking around hey yani, in the steam, hai, kari, kuna kuanga babu zaina hii and say if God has brought this brother this far if God has brought this sister this far that same God I believe in him and instead of criticizing hey na nanajua mahali wanafanya kazi hii pesa hii pesa hii pesa imetoka wapi hey hata mkisema tuokoke na tupende mungu the things people say the things people say only God only God and that's what this statement I make it everywhere and I think I may be making it for the first time here or the second time that is what I call blessing the blessed Abraham. It's not for Ab God did not. God told Abraham, "With blessings, I blessed you." That was so. Already Abraham is blessed. Then God says, "And anyone who blesses you shall be blessed." Now, God, I thought God, you have already blessed Abraham. Why should you? Allow men to bless a blessed man. Amen and amen. amen. Because I have seen churches, I have seen, I've been around for a while. Are you understanding what I'm saying? And sometimes I fall a victim of the same. When the members of the church, eh? BGO, when the members of the church look at us as a man who has whatever is needed. And they are like, why should I give to him? He should be the one actually earning away. It doesn't 
you are like that? What is it that Jacob didn't have? What is it that Isaac didn't have? Why should he tell a young man to go and ask her? Uyu mzee Biblia inasema alikuwa amebarikiwa. Alikuwa na vitu vyote kama baba yake Ibrahim. Alikuwa na dhahabu na fedha name it. Then he calls her son and tells him, "Go because there are those things that will be done in your life because you have gone a notch higher." Now, can I get to serious things? Praise God. Not because I was I was a joker before. Number one, if you want to see restoration in your life, become a fighter. Amen. Can we get to real stuff now? Say that again. Say if I want to receive restoration in my life, make me a fighter, oh God. Hey, I'm enjoying myself here. Praise the living God. Makato kapula zadaya, Jesus. Hey. Chapter verse 30 of Genesis 27. Genesis 27 verse 30. Now it happened. As soon as Isaac had finished blessing Jacob, and Jacob had scarcely gone out of the presence of Isaac, his father, that Esau, his brother, came in from his hunting. Can somebody read verse 31 with me? He also had made some food and brought it to his father and said to his father, Let my father rise and eat his son's game so that your soul may bless me. Even the son knew that it is the soul of a man that blesses him. Let's go, let's go down there. Where? Mm -hmm. Verse 32. And his father Isaac said to him, Who are you? Hey! So he said, I am your son. You are firstborn. Esau is my name. Then Isaac trembled exceedingly and said, Who? Where is the one who undead game and brought it to me? I had all of it before you came, and I have blessed him, and indeed he shall be blessed. I can't take back. My Jesus, I'm going somewhere. When Esau heard the words of his father, he cried with an exceeding great and bitter cry, and said to his father, Bless me, me also. Oh my father, but he said, Your brother came with deceit and has taken away what? And he so said, Is he not rightly named? Then Isaac answered and said to Esau, Indeed I have made him your master. Indeed I have made him your master. And he continues, verse 38. And Esau said to his brother to his father, What did he say? If you only one blessing, my father, bless me, me also, or my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. Then Isaac, his father, answered and said to him, Behold, your dwelling shall be of, your, of the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven, your soul. Um, by your sword you shall live, and you shall serve your brother. By your sword you shall live. And I will, I shall come, and it shall come to pass when you are, you become restless, that you shall break his yoke from your neck. Now listen to me. From your sword. In other words, this man, old man, he said, the blessings I have given out, but for you to be restored, because you have already lost your firstborn position, let me give you some wisdom. Let me give you some keys, some ways of going to where you, you are, but 
you lost it is true my son Esau you lost your position because you sold it but I have some wisdom that I can give you and through this wisdom you shall be restored Amen. shall be done what restored. shall be restored there is a restoration that is going to come if you use the wisdom I'm giving you Esau one you shall live by your sword in other words I release a grace over your life to be aggressive if you can be aggressive if you can if you can become a fighter you don't need to die in this state it is true you lost it but you can rise up again my son you sold it out but you can rise up again and i don't know who i'm talking to this afternoon i don't know where you lost it i don't know how you lost it but that is not important we serve a god of restoration god wants to restore you it does not matter how many mistakes you have made in life even maybe you have made a mistake today in the morning on your way here but i want to assure you i give you an assurance that our god is a god of all restoration anybody who has dismissed you they have made a mistake there is something there is a man of god called Shabak and he preached many years I think I listened to that sermon in the early 90s it was called the sermon the the ending of the sermon was the the comeback anointing there is a comeback praise the living God all that which you 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 lost because you did or you didn't know what you are doing even the prodigal son in the book of luke is takes away everything but when he is away he came back to his senses what you need to do is just come back to your senses look at the state of your life look at the state of your spiritual life your material life your relationships your network and just look at yourself and say where did i lose it then begin a journey back your position is still there the place you left the house you left there are still there is still gold there are still cows and goats to be slaughtered there is still a beautiful robe even they that were you don't those used to, to organize the dance they are still around to organize a dance what you need to do is to come back just come back it is as simple as that just come back then uh, isaac tells is that day my son there is something you need to do one become a fighter secondly decide let there be a decision in you that i'm not going to settle down I'm not going to settle down in this defeat i'm not going to settle down the way i've done things i continue doing them no i'm going this old man tells his son the day the moment you become restless the Mimi nilikuwa mtu wa kureconcile brethren. Siku hizi ni mimi na watawanyisha. Mtu ananiambia story kidogo akifika katikati na mwambia achi hapo. Hapo hakuna mtu. Six things that God hates. Even seven. And one of those is a brother who souls disco deceit a manist brethren somebody who has forgotten that the ministry you are being called into is a ministry of reconciliation it's not a ministry of telling the other person how bad the other person is 
how evil they are. Remember where you are fallen from. You are that man, you are that woman who would bring people together. You would have even buy people tea to see that they, they, they walk together, they are reconciled. Today, ah, achana na uyo hata mblok. Hana aja. Mtu kama uyo, achana ye. It is not the right spirit, brethren. And these are the kind of things that have brought us where we are. We find it so difficult for the presence of God to come. Why? Because our hearts. Mioyo iko mbali. Hata sio mbali na Mungu, mbali na moyo wa huyu mwingine. Acha Mungu. Usema eti Mungu naisi Mungu. Ha, bwapendo bwana siwe haleluya. Ninaisi uwepo wa Mungu. Wewe unawezaje hisi uwepo wa Mungu ambaye anakaa mbinguni na wangu wa uhisi na niko hapa? Stop lying. Hata Yohana anauliza, "How will you love God whom you have never seen when you are hating a brother?" There is a brother, there is a sister. You can't greet. Hatu wengine usionange wanakaa kanisa ni nyuma kwa sababu kanisa imeja. Ni kwa sababu kuna mutu moyo wake. Kuna mutu, yule mutu wako pale. Roo ya tatu, siyo ya kwanza, roo ya pili. Roo ya... Kuna venye. Kwa hivyo ni lazima nikae hapa, nijipange. Kwa hivyo. Ni kuje late na niondoke mapema tusije tumepatana brother he eh, ingia kwa hii hii ministry ingia kwa hii kikundi hapana as long as brother so and so ako hapo uanga tu hamupatani aje unaweza kosa kupatana na mu, na, 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 na ndugu haji how do you not agree Halafu unaleta kizungu mingi no you see brother you see pastor Titus we only differed but we uh, we differed as gentlemen we actually agreed to disagree foolish even bishop even at the very last moment the very last moment when Judas Iscariot came for Jesus Jesus did not call him enemy. He called him my friend. How much have you tried to restore that brother to the first love? One of the things that we need to be restored into is the first love, brethren. The love we had for God and the love we had for one another. Hey! The love we had for one another. The love we had for one another. Ebra inua macho tuonge wapendwa. Ni service ya restoration. Ulikuwa unaingia kanisani. Kanisa inaisha. Saa sita, saa sita na nusu ya saba. Mpaka saa tisa. Professor Njo. Bado huko kwa maeneo. Haleluya. Una salimia huyu ndugu. Muna shudiana. Unaenda kwa huyu ndada. Muna shudiana. Una toka upo. Unaenda mwingine. Mbaka mwingine unaweka kwa gari muenda mugi shudiana. Mwingine unamuambia tukutane kwa kaoteli tukunyo chai. Tuke shudiana. Siku hizi. Maana unaupendo wa wapendo. He. Tunamaliza ibada. Yani by the time tumalize and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Wewe uko kwa gari. The love of God. And you asking what is this that we are being told about restoration? It is restoration for the love of God and the love of brethren. Love for brethren. Hey, ule wakati ulikuwa unasikia ndugu anapitia changamoto. Haulali. 
unachapa maombi unaingia kwa maombi ya kufunga na hata ndugu mwenyewe ya juu unamuombea unasimama unaambia Mungu jambo hili aliwezi this cannot happen to that brother you visit them how you understand wewe kazi yako ni kushindia hapa oh unajua kuna corona man of god kuna corona si una si una tembeleanga mama yako na nyaya yako na hata unatembeleanga yule jamaa nyingine acha kututisha hapa eti eti corona ni kama corona utokangi si hata saa hii uko hapa tangu corona ikuje usi unaendanga mpaka ushago si kama tunaelewana kwani corona ilikuja kukuweka boundary katikati ya wewe na wapendo wapendo mambo ikisemekana ya visitation ndio corona inaingia you know brethren we have to protect one another we have to do what protect one another saa hiyo kwa hiyo hiyo ofisi unafanya inasemekana ya kwamba watu wanaenda naivasha eh you are the first one wewe ndio wa kwanza kujaza tunaenda Mombasa ndio wa kwanza kwenda Eh? Tendo ilipotelea hapo. Hapo unauliza what are these we are we being restored to? Restored to first love. Restored to first love. Restored to the passion to the things of God. Muimbaji, wakati ulikuwa umeokoka sawa sawa. Ulikuwa unajileta practice mpaka unajileta practice zingine zako wewe na Mungu. Eh? Tunakukuta hapa tu naimba hata uko peke yako unacheza keyboard na uijui naicheza kwii kwii alone Now we have to remind you eh hey, practice Tafadhali kuja We have to know that this life at some point is lived by the sword Jesus said from the time of John the Baptist until now the kingdom Acha hiyo uzuri hiyo uzuri yako ni nyingi sana. Hii kitu za wengine inahitaji nguvu kidogo. You need to be forceful. Life unajua umefunzwa kukua na, na, nice. Kuna mahali kaitika hii kingdom. Uniceness wako unaweka kando. Bwana Yesu asizana. Yes. Juzi last week a young man Sami came and told me there is a madman who is staying at the at the at the at the gate of the city and more precise at the gate to our church and I've told them the importance of 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 gates and how these things work and how he told me man of God there is a new the, the new you know new there is a new a uh, madman in the, in town and he is right at the entrance of the city is where he has put his things and build his own thing it was around 8:30 in the evening I think it was on thursday or something like that i told the young man let's go show me the man We went and found the man last week. We went and found the man seated with that around him. Kayalaba. Hey! Zegele, I laid my hands on him without request. Kulisa gaya. Balus takusas. Zikiria kalia. We are the owners, the real owners, the spiritual owners of this city. We don't allow people to stay around here. Malusa palakaya siketekete. Then I asked him, "What are your names?" He told me names. I said, to, I told him, "Say this prayer after me." Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I recognize you as the Lord of this land. And no other lord can rule around here he is saying all that in the name of jesus i finished with him then i looked at him and i asked him have you eaten something at that moment by the time we said amen 
we had around 15 men 15 sober men and two ladies around and I told Sammy go to that hotel get in some food and I began a crusade <laughs> at that moment it was around around nine we were almost getting to nine now and I'm there preaching preaching to these 15 plus two ladies I preached by the end of the day we got five souls out of a madman and from that day from that moment up to now the madman disappeared from that time some of these things you think they are human beings they are actually spirits You need to be vigilant. You need to be forceful. Restoration doesn't just come like this. No. There are things that you need to do. You need to be tired of your situation. You need to be tired for you to be restored. Come on. I want to show you a scripture. I hope I can get it. Oh my Jesus, Holy Spirit, help me. You may not know how this one works, but I will show you. Ah. Hey, chapter 33, everybody has to read this. Chapter 33, verse, verse 9. Chapter 33, verse 9 of Genesis. Chapter 33, verse 9 of Genesis. 1, 2, 3, read. Oh, oh, sorry, you're not there yet. Let me give you some seconds. Let's read verse 8 and 9. Are you there? One, two, three, read. Then Esau said, What do you mean by all this company which I met? And he said, These are to find favor in the sight of my Lord. Hey. Hey. Jacob. Listen. Jacob. Jacob whom you thought. He is the one who ran with the blessing. Because Esau was taught how to have his blessing and his place restored in a way now the same jacob is calling his brother the one who stole the blessing is calling him my lord when you are restored even they that used to despise you those who used to look down on you those who used to think you will never live a, a kijiji kind of life you know what all what you need is god to restore you and they will come calling you Lord. Can you read the next verse? Verse 9. Stop there. I am what? I am what? I am what? In other words, I am as blessed as you are. It is true you stole my blessing. It is true you went thinking you went with everything. But I have fought. I have fought number two when I rose up and I realized I have sold my birthright I chose not to keep quiet I chose not to die in my state nimekuja kukuambia hivi hata kama umepotesa nini hata kama umepotesa kwa njia gani ile kitu uwezifanya ni kusetle down na kusema mambo yaendelee vile iko hapana haitaendelea hivyo uko na nguvu ya kuirekebisha uko na nguvu ya kusema hata kama ndugu yangu ameenda na baraka yangu huyo mungu anaweza ni restore And when Jacob is coming back, anafikiri atatisha ndugu yake na utajiri. He? Yeah? Anafikiri atamutisha. Anatumana kikundi ya watu na kondoo na nini. Anatuma ingine. <laughs> Kajamaka na kuja. Hamuliza. Hamuliza ni nini? Hamuambia apana hii ni metumana. Hamuambia my brother. While you are we. While you are we, while you thought you have dislocated me, 
while you thought I will never rise again I met God who restores people Amen. beyond I don't need anything you have come with I have enough I am as blessed as you are if it is children I have children if it is wealth I have wealth I don't need anything from you my brother how did he get there he chose not to settle he chose not to settle when he realized nimepotesa hakukaa chini aliamuka jamaa akajua kuna wakati wa kufanya hesabu na kuweka formula vizuri lakini lazima hesabu ifike mahali ya therefore is equals hapo ndiyo tunaangalianga mahesabu ya maisha weka amen iko na afya hapo amen eh tuzizoeane nilikuja hapa asubuhi tuzizoeane wanaweza wasusana zoeane ati hapa tumekupatia chai unafikiri unaweza sinzia ningekuona unasinzia kwa hii baada utatoa sandaka na utoe pesa ya launching <laughs> tuweze ujenga kanisa kubwa na mzuri na mna hii ha wewe una lakini saa zingine watu wengine kusinzia kwa ibada tunawaelewa. Imani wanapatanga, amani wanapatanga wakiingia kwa nyumba ya Mungu. <laughs> By the way, usi, sio kila mtu anasinzia kwa kanisa unamuamusha kwa kwa kumuharakisha. Inaweza kuwa hapa tu ndio mahali wanapatanga amani. Yaani akiingia, can you imagine? Kiti kwake ni asofa zeti lakini haiwezi hawezi rara. Hakini akiingia hapa. But your joy and your peace is going to be restored in the name of Jesus. Anything stealing your joy, I rebuke it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh my Jesus, I'm enjoying myself. Oh, have you ever preached and you are being blessed? Yaani wewe unabarikiwa na chenye unahubiri. Yes. Yaani wewe mwenyewe unabarikiwa, yaani unajibariki. Na chenye unahubiri. Yaani mimi nabarikiwa na chenye nahubiri. Maana ninakiamini kisha maliza mambo ya kurudia Mungu na kutubu na kurudi kwa madhabao kama ma priest. kuna kitu ingine Biblia inasema sasa inasema then na nyinyi ni wasomi ukiona hilo neno T H E N then unajuanga kuna kitu ingine hapa tunaelewana Sijini wasomi. Yaani Mungu kuna vitu amesema hapo. Alafu ni kama kusema mukishamaliza hii sasa. Hivi ndivyo kutaenda. Hebu tuangalie maandiko tuone kutaendaje. The Lord will be zealous for his land and pity his people. Number two, The Lord will answer and say to his people, Behold, I will send you grain a new wine and oil hiyo grain umekuwa ukitafuta mpaka ulali na new wine na hizo vitu yote imefunganishwa mahali pa kurudi kwa Mungu God has got no problem with restoring or giving us a fast God wants to answer us. God says the Lord will answer and say to his people you will not answer you will answer and say something. Behold I will send you rain and new wine and oil and you will be satisfied by them. I will no longer make you a reproach among the nations. That's the word of God. He says he will hear. And he will say what will he say? 
you will uh, and you will send grain a new wine and oil three things grain new wine and oil god wants to satisfy us with every good thing when we get to that place where we are restored we will not be looking for grain and wine and oil as though we have got nothing else to do and the world the nations will not uh will not be a reproach but i will remove far from you the northern army now you remember in the opening of the of the chapter there were all those armies that god has sent in the opening of chapter two now god is saying he will remove those armies may those armies be removed in the name of the lord jesus can somebody say amen, amen. every army that has come to scatter that has come to destroy that has come to cast fear of our lives may god remove that army i will drive him away into a barren and desolate land with his face to us they will be nowhere near us fear not all land be glad and rejoice for the lord has done marvelous things now, i'm still coming to our verse the verse of the theme of this conference praise god because there are those things that precede restoration that's what i'm 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 i'm, I'm, I'm handling there is there are those things who have written this or vitangulizi via restoration in kiswahili via oregation this was in akuja kwanza watu wanaenda wanarudi in repentance wana wana wanafungua mioyo yao wanarua mioyo yao sio manguo wanaenda hapo ni kupenda mungu wanarudi kwa halta wanakuwa watu wa kufunga wanakuwa watu wa kulilia hapo mbele za mungu watu wa aina hiyo wakifika hapo sasa mungu anasema anaachilia grain anaachilia new wine anaachilia oil he na tena hawatakuwa wa kuchekelewa na mataifa bwana yesu asana then biblia inasema kuna kitu kingine fear not all and be glad and rejoice god has done marvelous things rejoice the bible says the joy of the lord you are you want re, uh, restoration in your life bring joy back let a fura tena katika maisha yako furahia maisha bwana yesu asiwe sana wacha kuishi maisha ya kununa eti kwa sababu hili alifanyiki lile alifanyiki lile lilienda hivi hapana it is a time and a season of restoration and there are things that precede restoration one of them joy joy in the lord rejoice in the lord and again i say rejoice let your what hey rejoice choose to rejoice Pastor, you don't know what I'm going through. You don't know how messed my life is. Let me tell you what to do. Put a garment of praise. And start rejoicing. Believe in God for restoration. God is going to restore me. My Jesus. I'm reminded of something that happened. Did I say it in this house or elsewhere? I'm still not married. Listen to this. I'm still not married. I must have said this somewhere. Bless you. And I'm staying with girls. There are some girls who, you know, they would you just come in my house and you find, you know, young ladies in high school, in the college, in the university, and some of them I know they are listening. You just find them everywhere don't try that at home <laughs> <laughs> you must be coming from another world to live that way amen and amen and there is this this day this one morning and one of these girls called faith nyaga 
You know, she's one of the celebrity celebs in a, in this uh, local uh, whatever. Uh, Faith calls me from my upstairs and says, eh, eh, they used to call me Pastor T. Says Pastor T. We don't have breakfast. And it is around th eight, uh, uh, six thirty in the morning. And I said, uh, no problem, Faith. Wait for me. I'll be coming. And I woke up, brethren. I have young ones in the house and there is no nothing. There is no nothing for breakfast. Nothing. And I'm a man of God. Full of God. Kayusaka. Hecha. Zika. But I, you can't lose your joy in moments like that. You, one of the things you need not to lose is your joy when things are difficult. I rose up and I said, hey, that's the day I found myself summoning Satan. I said, Satan, come here quickly. I'm not lying. I'm telling you the truth. Satan, come here quickly. The reason I called, I cannot say God, come here quickly. Because God is always present. But the devil is not always present. So I had to summon him from wherever. Either in, he was in Turkey or in China or wherever. I had to make sure that I am dealing with him, not his engines. And I waited for a minute or so, a moment of time. And I assumed he has arrived. And I told him, Satan, I want to take you to a tour in this house. And I began. I told him, Satan, you see this bed is mine. God has given me. You see this mattress is mine. God has given me. You see these dishes and the duvet, they are mine. Satan, God has given me. You see this carpet? Satan, God has given me. Let's go to the wardrobe, Satan. I opened the wardrobe for Satan. Satan, please see. Are you seeing all these suits? All these guys? They may be a few, but they are mine. God has given me. Oh, Satan. Let's go to the next bedroom. And I'm leading. I said in Satan. I'm not lying. Do you see this bed? Although I've not brought a mattress for it, it's still mine. God has blessed me. Oh, Satan. Let's go to the bathroom. You see that soap dish? It's mine. God has given me. You see the towel? And the face away, and or even the inner wears. Satan, they are mine. My God has given me. I told him, let's go downstairs. Brethren, I tell you before God, I started stair number one, stair number two, stair number three. When you finish the stairs for that house, still the house is there in five years. On your right hand, there's a kitchen. On straight, there is a door to the garden. And this way is the sitting and another bedroom. When I was in the middle of the stairs, the house bell rang at 6.30 in the morning. And when you are standing there and they open the main door, you can see straight to the gate. I saw a white car. Because faith and the, the rest, they ran outside to check who has visited the man of God such an hour. And I saw the car. And when I saw the car, I was a bit distracted. I looked and suddenly, somebody say suddenly. I saw faith together with other girls carrying paper bags. Those who have been, those who are old enough, they remember there was a old, the oldest supermarket in Machagos was called Nova Supermarkets. It used to stand where the old Naivas is now. 
They were carrying bags, written no bag, supermarkets. I also ran out. <laughs> I also, because when restoration comes, everybody can see. When restoration comes, we all become witnesses. When God restores, when God restores your desolation, when the places where they have thought it is all and forsaken, when God sends rain there, everybody can see. Ah, even me, I ran outside. And I met a man, nicely dressed. And faith, they are carrying the bags. And I asked the man, the man told me, last night, I went to Nova supermarkets to do shopping for my people. Now these men had girls in their teenagehood. Let's not go to details. Do you know what I mean? In these bags, that's the day I understood God knows all your needs. The man shops, takes all those stuff, everything, everything, you understand, and pays. And when he's putting the things in his cupboard, a voice tells him, in this city, there is a man called Pastor Kiange. Look for him in the morning and take all this stuff. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Hey. Take it. And the man was wondering, is he married? Because there are stuff here. <laughs> things here that men may not understand how to use them. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Suddenly, early morning, there were sausages in my house. There was bread in my house. There is milk in my house. There is salt in my house. Are uh, you understanding what I'm saying? Don't lose joy. Don't lose joy. Don't lose joy. Don't lose joy. Don't. After tomorrow, Satan is still standing where I left him. I've never been back to release him. Lose your eye. Don't do what? Don't lose your eye. Bible says, Where are we? Fear not, O land. Be glad and rejoice. Be glad and rejoice. I know that the Lord is restoring me. I know that God is taking me to the next level. I know that God. Is moving everything possible to see that I'm comfortable and that I'm blessed. I know it. For the Lord has done marvelous things. Do not be afraid. These are things that precede restoration. Get rid of fear. Deal with fear. What is it that you are fearing? Live a life without fear. Live a life of fear. I don't fear today, I don't fear tomorrow. I fear nothing. I fear nothing. Even when a situation comes like it is like a shadow of death, I look at it and I tell it, okay, you have come, yes. What you don't know is what the scriptures say. The scriptures say, I can only pass through. <laughs> you really come to kill me. I can't die in the valley of the shadow of death. I can only pass. 
Stop making a lot of noise when you find yourself in a valley of, of the shadow of death. You're only passing through. Then you are going to come out intact. Go and ask Meshach, Shendra, and Abednego. Go and ask the king who threw them there. Fire. Seven times. The fire was so bad, the people who came to throw them in. They were consumed. Can you imagine? Yule mtu amekuja kukutuba. Amemaliswa. Amekaangwa. Amekuwa nyama. Hata si choma. Nyama kauka. Alafu kuna mwingine. Ametupwa. Kwa hiyo moto. Yaani inachomea watu. Mwe. Mwe watu wananishangazanga. Unaonanga kasitueshi kaishu ya mtu. Vira imemuchoma. Na hako iji. Na kuna wengine tukondani. Sisi <laughs> Alisema atakapokuja Yesu yule ambaye sina uwezo si sitoshi kufungua nyuzi za viatu yake atawabatiza kwa roho na moto kwa hivyo usinitisha na moto moto haichomi moto leta moto yako usinitisha na moto yako moto gani leta moto ikute ile ingine Moto itaheshimu moto. Shida ya moto watu wengine ni kwamba moto na maji. You get what I'm saying? Do not be afraid. You be on the field. For open pastures are springing up and the trees bear its fruit and thin trees. I mean there is there is abundance, abundance of everything. Be glad then you children of Zion. And rejoice again. Do what? And rejoice where? Are you reading? Rejoice in the Lord your God. For he has given you the former rain faithfully. And he will cause the rain to come down for you. The former rain and the latter rain in the first month. Yaani easy move azote. Sema restoration. Sema restoration. Eh? Mvua gani si useme kwa hiyo baibu yako. Umeona mvua gani? Mvua gani na gani? Kwani ulikuwa unafuadilia? Eh? The what? Ni ndio msoma nani bau. Bau ndo soma eka Biblia Biblia yake kamba eka kuyati pangaya katuma mbua ya ndoa na mungu sio ndesi uka mui wiba kiwi joki ta wada restoration my friend haja ni kuji enjoy hapa kuji 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 fijari yaani mwesi mmoja bisho unapata season zingabi hey umeona hiyo for he has given you he not he will give you somebody say it he has been given already he has given us former rain faithfully and he will cause the rain to come down for you the former rain and the latter rain in the first month zita kutania hapo zita kutania hapo kurama zika bazaya jesus mungu ana shida ya kukupatia gari na nyumba na muke na mtoto same time hata nikasoma mshitari ingine na huko mbere ya juweri inasema mwenye ana, anapanda atapatana na mwenye anavuna
mimi wapendwa ile imani niko nayo juu ya maisha yangu na yako ni hii hii maisha ya tunapitia ka season kana kaa ka baraka kana kuja kanaisha tu kale ka investment kale ka team investment inaitwa nini to savings unachukua to savings unalipa nyumba na watu unalipa nyumba na watu unalipa nyumba na watu na to bills na nini na nini na nini na nini, nini. tukikuja kuisha kuna ingiria kuna funguka kama rango nyingine unaingia kwako kama rango unakusanya tu vitu vitu kana kauka unakula tule tu vitu unakula tule tu vitu na sasa hujawaijiuliza na tukikuja kuisha na una nguvu Hapana Mungu mimi anishikanishe ma seasons. Ninaomba Jehova anishikanishe ma seasons. Nani anishikanishe? Iwe the latter rain. Ah, the latter rain and the long rain. Let them come in the same month. Hey. I want my blessing now. I want my blessing now. Somebody say I need it now. I read a man in the book of 2 Kings should be called Abizrai. Eh? Who was invited by King David to go to Jerusalem to stay with the king? Do you know what the man said? Your servant cannot go with you because he's a bother. I'm old. Siwezi sikia nyimbo za wasichana. Na hata siwezi sema chakula ikiwa tamu. Maana mimi ni nini? Ni mzee. Baraka ya uzeni mimi nakataanga kila asubuhi. Hakuna blessing. Man of God, hakuna blessing ya kuenda tunaenda holiday awa hii na ninasukuma na wili Ah no 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 no. Ah bana. Si hivi kama tunaelewana. Eh. Kitanda ni nzuri lazima upandishwe. Pesa uko nayo lakini kwa sababu ya age na vitu vingine unakula chakula ya sungura na ni five star hotel. Somebody say God restore me. Amen. Your health needs to be restored. Yaani saa ile unakaa sasa ndio unaweza kukula mahali hapa na pale chochote kile unataka unaenda unaambiwa na unajua kuna daktari nimewahi sikia amekataza mtu gidheri kupenda chakula sana lakini shetani ukae mbali na mimi yani kuna vitu huwezi nikataza hata kama sisi kuli yani hata kama sisipendi sana kama mtu lakini hapana yani unirudishe kwa mbosho na gidheri na nili na hiyo ndio ni ah kuna nakataa kwa jina la Yesu Kristo kwa jina la Yesu Kristo wakati huu kama ni pibon unaitisha pibon na rakosata tunaelewana vizuri kata hizo mashaitani this generation needs a restoration Do you know what our forefathers? Do you know what our our fathers used to do Pastor Joshua when they go to a butchery? They used to say, "Nikatia hapa kuna mafuta. Nikatia hapo." Go and ask them. Those who agree with our That's what they used to say. Ungeletea mzee ama mama nyama ina mafuta. Angalia hii generation. Stack mafuta, stack mafuta.
Sudana lazima turegeshwe kwa maandiko kwa maandiko do you know we up and up please um, please the medics eh? don't think I'm against you you, you understand just the same way uki kwa kwa kazi yako mimi sikuingili <laughs> na mimi niko kwa kazi niko kazi ni mimi and i preach what i practice is because of the things i've read in the bible nilisoma paulo anaambia timotheo ya kwamba vitu vyote vikulwe kwa shukrani yeah. iwe ni mafuta ama si mafuta as long as imekurwa kwa shukrani hata si kwa imani with thanksgiving with what thanksgiving that's why there are things even when i married her i would see us you know talk you know getting worried hey when she was she was uh, expecting and she's like i told her stop praying some prayers mimi kwetu atushindangwi na chakula na hakuna kitu inatudhuru Kwa hivyo usifikiri unaweza kuleta kiumbe kwa hii dunia nikiwa nimeparticipate kishindwa na chakula. <laughs> Kitashindwa na chakula kama hakitaki. Until tomorrow kwa nyumba yetu hakuna mtu anaulizanga mwingine utakula ama kwa nini ukuri? Kwa sababu wewe ukitaka kukula utakula. Maana nilielewa kuna pepo fulani lazima zifungwe kwa jina la Yesu Kristo mwana wa Mungu ali hai somebody inua mkono wako wa kuume na useme Mungu nibariki sasa nibariki leo si hata hii jamaa inaitwa nani hii kijana hii hii inaitwa jina mbovu iliitwa na mama yake mama yake ikikufa na nyi wanawake mkikasirikia maisha wacheni kuachiria shetani kwa watoto <coughs> inaitwa nani inaitwa eh, inaitwa nani hii iko chronicles chronicles chapter 4 nani wasaidia bwana na wasaidia bwana na wasaidia bwana na wasaidia, bwana na wasaidia kujua hii jamaa bwana Yesu asiye sana hakuna ah, ubaya wa kuomba it bless me indeed o lord it is not wrong The young man prayed and said, "Bless me, indeed." Hali angaria ile maisha akaona hapa, in my life and unless I ask for restoration. Unless. And you know when God restores you, wacha kuuliza, "Hey pastor, unajua kuna makosa imefanyika? Nini? Nini? Where was you when you saw mange maandiko?" hii kitabu ya chapter 9 ya ya nini ya 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 anaitwa nani Samueli eh wakati Samueli anauliza anasema je kuna mtu amembaki kwa nyumba ya Sauli ili nimuonyeshe wema kwa ajili ya covenant we serve a god of a covenant yes. tunaelewana vizuri yes. jamaa alitolewa kwa ufalume akapewa na kimama akikuwa na nguvu akikuwa kimebuild capacity pika muangushi akaka we usiachilie maisha yako kwa kila jamaa kuna watu hawana capacity tunaelewana sana sana nyi watu ambao hamjaolewa na hamjaoa don't just release your life in every kind of ends that come in your way there are ends that don't have capacity yet they can easily drop you are you understanding lakini kama kama it is time for restoration of maybe so shit is without legs but he has to be restored when god comes to restore you he doesn't ask what is it you have and what you don't have you shall eat at the king's table watake wazitake na sio wao wanakuregesha ni mfalume anakuregesha hata kina ziba unajua hii ziba bukora ya mtu ziba mtu mche mtu mwingine shetani dia anaulizwa kukiulizanwa ama ulizwa swali straight forward kuna mtu amebaki kwa nyumba ya Sauli nimuonyeshe wema 
anajibu swali haja ulizo anajibu na anaongezea eh yuko lakini nikiweta sasa wewe umeulizwa kuna mtu ama unaumulizwa vile yako hebu ndio mtu mwambie ukiulizwa mambo yangu acha kuongezea unajua na nini? Sasa yule yule ana kazi. Unajua dada fulani? Oh yule bwanake mlevi. Wewe ume, umeulizwa hiyo na nani? Mambo ya ulevi umeulizwa na nani? Umeulizwa kama unamjua. strange But let me tell you something it doesn't not, not it does not matter how they answer your time of restoration has come that time has come when they ask you who said tell them a young man came by the invitation of our bishop and he said my time has come You can only believe the word. Take the word. Run with it. You understand what I'm saying? Keep your joy. Keep your what? Keep your joy. What does the Bible say? Where are we? Oh my Jesus. We are almost there. And rejoice in the Lord your God. Because he will give you the former and the latter rain in the first month. The threshing floor shall be full of wheat and the vats shall overflow with new wine. So I will restore. Hey. Because a lot of people think when God is coming to restore, He's coming to restore when there is nothing. No, there is still something that is overflowing. There is an overflow. So Whatever the worms, and we have come to know there are so many worms in this life. One worm has eaten your peace. Another worm <laughs> has eaten your joy. Another worm has, has, has even swallowed your sleep. It is illegal not to sleep when it is time to sleep. For God shall give his beloved. When God says you should sleep, sleep. I may not have gone a lot of through a lot of stuff, but up to today, nothing has ever happened in my life. And I, I didn't sleep when I wanted to sleep. I'll sleep. I'll sleep. I'm not a lover of sleep, if I say. But if I want to sleep, I will sleep. Peace, I'll speak. Why are you losing your sleep? Have you allowed issues and things to steal your joy? There is no situation that is permanent in this life. God is well able to rebuild every wall of your life that the enemy has destroyed. God is well able. God is well able. There's no miracle that I've not seen God perform. I've seen all manner of restorations taking place. 
The other day I prayed for a woman. This is one of the strange things. These ones, they only happen in Cumberland. Very strange. Very strange. And I'm not lying. Because the testimony I'm, I'm giving is just concerning a plot. A house that is outside our church gate. And I drive into the church. And a woman comes running. And I'm like, this woman, she's our neighbor, but she has never stepped in church for whichever reason. What is it? Is it that I have prayed more? That she has come to give her life to Jesus. Little did I know she has not come to give her life to Jesus. She came and she is there and she told me, man of God. Now she can even call me man of God. For all these years, eh? she had no name for me. Achana wao, madara wa endele. Watapata mataito. Anani yakari ananiambia. Nimekuja uniombe. Namuliza kuna nini? Niambia kuna kitu imetendeka. Sija waiona kitu kama hii. Namuliza kitu gani? Ananiambia juzi. Sema juzi. Nilikuwa nafua nguo kwa plot. Na nikaanika. You know those things that happen in plots. Eh? The idol people. Eh. Alafu mwana mke mwingine. And I know both of them should. Maybe they are listening all their friends. Mwanamke mwingine akaniambia sijui nimemwagia nguo zake ma, 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 eh, maji sijui nimeanika kwa mlango yake you know those funny things eh? kwa hivyo akasimama akajishika hivi akaniuliza unajigamba hivyo kwa sababu uko na husband eh eh yani we behave uno ndo we na mzee yani una behave hivyo kwa sababu uko na mzee I didn't know where that came from but the woman said a number of things and me I left it at that Akaniambia until evening when it was time for my husband to come home when it was time for my husband to Akaniambia si unajua hii plot yetu si unaona vile imejengwa namwambia eh sinaiona tu hata kwa nikiwa kwa ofisi yangu Akaniambia unafika kwa mlango yangu Unapita ingine unafika una ya huyu nda ya huyu mwanamke nikamwambia eh akaniambia amazingly my husband amet alitoka job now it is two days today will be see you the third or the fourth one or something like that akapita mlango yetu akapita ya neighbor akaingia ya huyu mwanamke nilikuambia vitu vingine inatendekanga kule imetoka ukihubiri kule natoka my friend lazima ujue Mungu vizuri <laughs> ama ujuane na Mungu <laughs> ala wewe unaweza unaweza chengwa haraka <laughs> haraka sasa wewe hebu fikiria situation kama hiyo na hiyo siku mbili nilisoma kwa kitabu hiyo ilitendeka live life hapo kita plaza hapo uleza haya mpaka asubuhi aniambia eh Na the following day alienda kazini aje. Anaambia sasa hata mimi sijui. Eh. Na akakuja tena akaniambia eh hata ni kama aoni mlango yangu. Ni, <laughs> ni kama aoni kwetu. Na huku jaribu kumwendea akaniambia we huyo mama ni moto wa kuotea mbali. Nikamwambia hata mimi ni muhubiri wa kuotea mbali. <laughs> Najua kuna msemo mmoja wa kamba wanasemanga hivi. Chuma yote ni chuma. Lakini kuna chuma inatumikanga kuchoma ile ingine. Chuma yote ni chuma lakini kuna chuma unakuta inapasua ingine. Sasa vile tumeitwa na tuwekaingia kwa Mungu, sisi tunakuanga wewe upande wa ile chuma ya kukata chuma ile ingine. Nikamuuliza mtu aliongea maneno ikafanya mume wako apite mlango yako aende kwake mtu 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 akaniambia ndio nikamwambia na mimi ni mtu hey! na mimi 
mbili je si tulisoma huko Isaia 42:22 hao ni watu wako kwa mashimo hao ni watu wako kwa magereza wanahitaji mtu aseme kuwe na uregesho kajasakata nikauliza mama aliongea kitu mama akaongea mpaka ikam namwambia na mimi waja niongee kasukto brahakos hey i call you back to your senses hey i call you back to yourself hey in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus come on go back another man has spoken kumbe zaida bunza zingi na jioni Husband ya kakuja Haka ingia Yule mwingine mpaka kesho anangojia Na unajua uzuri wetu Kile tunafunga Hakuna wakufungua Wawo wakifunga sisi tunaweza fungua Sisi tukifunga Awawesi shida ni uoga shida ni kuomba na uamini i don't in this life i don't fear and you can ask you can go she has a you have a little farm someplace the other day i woke up and i found a pot kwangu hata huyo mchawi hayuko serious <laughs> mimi ulete chungu kwangu ai you are too much i looked at it i prayed and i pulled the scriptures especially a scripture in the book of ezekiel that talks about the pot and the boiling and the cookings and i said whatever this pot is cooking here cannot be heated here in the name of the lord jesus i prayed and prayed after two weeks nikaenda nikakuta imepingirita by itself it has rolled around one meter after a month i'm not removing it I'm not in a business of removing pots. After a month, nikaenda nikakuta imechukuliwa na imewekwa juu ya muti. Muti iko hivi. Imewekwa hapo katikati na imesapotiwa na tumao. Sema no problem. I commanded the tree and it's a big one. I commanded it in the name of Jesus not to hold that pot. I'm not talking about things that are in London. I'm talking about things that are in Machakos. And I can request people who are in that farm to send me pictures. I have some here to send me current pictures. I'm not here to lie. Why should I come and lie? You can drive there and go and see whether what I'm saying is true. Within a month the tree started to dry and i went there and i told the tree you are not only dry you are falling down it dried then it started bending falling for as i speak here the whole tree is down falling flat and dried Amazingly the pot escaped <laughs> But is there fear in me No great is he who is in me than the one who is in the world 
when God comes to restore you, it doesn't matter how many witches are around you. We don't talk about witches. Witches are small boys. What kind of witchcraft have I not faced? I've, I've met serious witches. Serious witches. Witches. I've met witches. Me. Hey. I have seen it. Black and white. Yes. The other day I was praying. And God sent me to a junction. I told them in church. In a, to a certain T junction. At around 2 in the morning. He told me go to that junction. And I drove to that junction. I went there. And I found a woman and two men. Practicing witchcraft. I found them live life. Live life. Kaya Mosca. Hey! Sega! We are told you are so palast. Hey! In the name of Jesus. After two, one, two days, the same spot. God sent me there. I found seven puppies dead. Who brought them there? I don't know. God told me. Take control. Take charge. Of this place. When we are talking about restoration, we are talking about you going and doing the things of God. Did I not say you need to be a fighter? God woke me up between junction. When you leave Makutano Junction, there is a, a place, there is a school called Premise. Past Premise, there is a school in, uh, for, for, for um, our Muslim brothers called Elim. For the longest time, almost every week, a week will not go without having an accident between Elim and Kagome. That's about a kilometer. Almost every week. Until recently, this time of Corona, I'm talking about restoration. God woke me at around 3, 3.30. I was praying. And God told me, drive there. Drive there. And God showed me clearly where I'm going. I go to my car. And I drove. When I reached, I just passed there. It's like a drift like this. I'm driving from Machakos town. I'm now coming towards, towards Elim. But there is a place where there is a go down. Guess what? Two huge birds. I'm not talking about dreaming. I'm talking about real life. Two Ill, huge birds stood on the road. One on this side and another one on this side. And they, were, they are facing me like this. Who is on that road? Me and the birds. Why? There was a, a curfew. And everybody else is, is before four. I look at the birds. And I'm driving. And the birds are looking at me. And I knew this is time for restoration. Something must be restored. We cannot live like this. We cannot be miss, losing lives on this stretch. Every other week I'm called man of God, man of God. No, I'm tired. I looked at those birds like this. And they are here. I hit them like no one's business. I hit them. I killed them both instantly. Amen. And I slowed there. I look back. The trace of blood, that blood could not be of birds. One of my sons in church, Sammy, I mentioned him. I didn't know that he, had, he was also on his way coming for morning glory. He came and reached that, that place. And he, he was like, Apa, sees in the cuckoo's in the cuvia. He didn't know their birds. And if you give him cuckoo, I can do this at this hour. Cuckoo's in the talk of what? Now, when any cuckoo's in the morning, I'm going After prayer, I told them what had just happened. And we drove back. And he told me, Man of God, I passed here. And I asked, what, what are these chickens doing here? What, what were they doing here? Do you know something? From that day up to now, 
no single accident has been reported on that space. It is us church taking charge. You're not waiting for other people. We are the ones to take charge. Take charge. Stop whatever needs to be stopped. Stop it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever you are not desiring in this life, you can stand and stop it. And say, this one I stop. That one I stop. This one I stop. This one, I can continue. But this one, this one I'm not only stopping, I'm killing it. Let's stand. Let's stand. Let's all stand. Hey, Eric. What happened? You told me to use that one. All right. For the next session, I will use mine. I used, I used mine in the first one. I didn't mess you. Now, they told me to use that one. It has been corrected. Only to find. It's all right. Praise God. Are you getting what I'm saying? Don't lose your joy. One of the things you have been looking for restoration, when there is so much bitter in your spirit, you lost joy, you lost peace. You are so bitter and you are like God. God restore me. No, it doesn't come like that. Release it. Let it go. Approach God with an attitude of thanksgiving. Rejoicing in the Lord of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hey. Rejoice in the Lord always. When God comes to restore us, no one can stand on the way of God. And God is restoring him. You would have said amen there. Amen. In the name of Jesus, I've said, be restored. Amen. You see, listen to this testimony. I'm praying with this woman who works for the government of Kenya and she's going through difficult times financially and I pray I tell her God is a good God let's believe God mama and let's pray little did she know nor did I know it within a week do you know what happens it, 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 it was said that she was she was promoted she was raised a great higher i think five years seven years ago and i don't know that you are key to two it we can just i don't know what happened so now it is yake ya pay ilianzishwa hiyo na sasa imekusanyishwa yote yote sasa eti analetewa yote can you imagine? Another money, 5,000. 5,000 times 12. How much money is that? Eh? 60. Now, 60 times 7. How much money is that? God! God has many ways of restoring us. Ah, yes! God has God has many ways of restoring us you only need to believe praise Jesus you only need to believe believe 
Which day is this? This week. Today is on Saturday. 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 On Thursday. On Thursday. I drove with two of the young men all the way to Masinga Dam. We got there at around midnight. The driver almost got us to the waters. The boys were tired. And we were fighting many, many things. That devil was a bad devil. Didn't want us to get there. But we got there finally. Because I was determined to go there. What was I going to see? I was going to see this lady. Who has lived Now who come you for many years, many, many years, wishing to come back, couldn't. This woman saw me preach on YouTube, called me all the way from Germany. I said, my name is so-and-so. I'm calling from Germany. I said, what is it? I said, I watched something on YouTube. These things are working. I'm here. I've listened to you on YouTube. I'm following you. And I felt I need to call you and I've called you now. I said, what is it? She said, I'm not here because I need to be here. I'm here because my documents have disappeared I can't trace my document there are some documents that the government was to send to her they have not reached me I have called every office and they are saying they were dispatched no one can trace them I told her woman let's pray in the name of Jesus where those documents are I reveal them I reveal you documents in the name of Jesus and not only revealing you I take you and I give you to this lady one week later another phone call came through and she is almost crying and she's saying man of God I can't understand this I asked what is it she said somebody called me from nowhere and said that my documents have been lying in that office for years long time documents have been there did you hear how it began it i went i didn't call i went to a rural place somewhere in masinga on thursday to fellowship with her and to thank god for what he has done and at around 1 1 30 in the morning when I'm leaving, he tells me, man of God, give me for some few minutes. There is something I want to show you. I found it the other day I came in this home. Listen, wait a minute. One of the reasons I went on Thursday is because this woman calls. I'm not lying. A singer is here. Thursday. It's because she called and told me. What is it Thursday or Tuesday? And she told me, man of God, when I came home, that's a few weeks ago, and I stepped, I went to open my house. I opened my house. I got inside my house. And in that house I was this week. I entered in that house. She told me, there is a place, there is only one stair like this. Only one like this. No other. How that woman fell, no one can explain. But she fell. And she almost broke her back. And this night I went with Meshach and Brother Sami. She is a mefungwa vitu. Mefungwa maleso na nini. And she is under serious medication. I said, God cannot restore you back to your country. And the enemy wants to keep you here. I ended up in that house. I felt 
no this cannot be i'm telling you before god as i was walking out of that house that woman was walking on her two feet she was walking on her two feet by herself without going Then she told me, she's walking on her feet, I'm telling you. I'm with Meshach and Mesami. And she tells me, something has happened. Told her, that's why I'm here. She told me, sir, before you leave, there is something I want to show you. And we went behind the house. There's a place where there is a tree. And guess what? It's a rope. There's a rope hanged there with seven serious knots. I went and I removed it and I told these two boys bring fire in the middle of the night bring fire and I burned it what amazed everybody a robe started dripping started it was like it had some oil oil started coming out oil oil out of a rope oil out of size and i'm here to say whatever has tied you down Whatever has put you down, yes. let it be destroyed yes. in yes. the name yes. of Jesus Christ. Yes. Be restored. Yes. Be restored. Yes. yes. Let the members of this church be restored. Yes. In the mighty name yes. of Jesus Christ, oh, yes. Son of the Living God. Oh, yes. I see people driving, I see people coming. Lift up your hands like this. And open your hands. And now, before all of us, in the name of Jesus Christ, whom I stand before day and night, I open this church for the locals. I say that veil has just been broken. You can write that that turn it down. I say in the name of Jesus, this you will see with your two eyes, man. The veil that has covered this work from the people around here, that veil has just been broken right now in the name of Jesus. It is our time of recovery. Oh, yes. Restoration. tell you again people don't hear we don't need to shout I say in the name of Jesus this church from now it is visible to the people from around I say it is visible wait for them and it is not going to take months they are driving in, they are walking in, they are coming in. Because whatever the veil that they would not see has been destroyed. Somebody say we receive them. Somebody say we receive them. We receive it. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We receive them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. your money held there is quite a chunk of money 
held somewhere you have tried to push you have tried to do anything possible you don't seem you don't seem to get a breakthrough i want to make a prayer it does not matter what they are saying it does not matter the systems that are against you the money is yours you can lift up your hand wherever you are i saw it in the spirit i don't know who i'm talking about i see two men holding a robe one on the other side and the other one on the other side and it's like there is a competition this one pulls and this one pulls and the spirit of the lord is ministering to me that this has been over this particular money sometimes it's like the money is there but you don't know what happens tayo palusika in the name of jesus I hand the dispute. I decree I declare the dispute is over. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And as I stand on this place, I decree and declare that a judgment has been made from the throne of God in favor of this my brother. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, son of the living God. I say in Jesus name, let the money be released. Let the money be released. Let the money be released. In Jesus. By the name. Hallelujah. Have the money is yours. The contention is over to the glory of God. Hallelujah.